Hello everybody and welcome back to FIFA 23 where we're having a chat with Tino Liveramento who uh, he thinks he's been playing pretty well lately. Feeling really good. Hope it means I won't just be on the bench for the game against Everton. Well, to be honest, he did play really well in the last game which was the 1-1 draw with Bournemouth after we got beaten 2-1 by Liverpool and I do feel like we're getting better. Uh, we just need to make performances equal results. That is what we need to do. And hopefully in this episode, starting with a game against Everton, we can do that. So let's not hang around. Let's get into it. We're going to Goodison Park. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Premier League fixture for Everton versus Fulham. And uh, this is a very interesting fixture. Fulham not getting the result they wanted in their last home game against Bournemouth. And in their last visit to Merseyside, narrowly lost to Liverpool but they're hoping to get revenge on the Merseyside rivals of Liverpool which is Everton and it looks like both teams are going to be lining up with a three at the back formation Calvert-Lewin is going to be leading the line for Everton he stands there wearing the blue of the Merseyside team it should be a very interesting game so let's see how this one unfolds we'll be back to go through the teams here we are then with Everton the home team lining up in a 5-4-1 formation Pickford, Gusto, Holgate, Keane, Cody and Vinagre at the back Connor Cody new signing in that team Saar, Gway, Decoria, McNeil line up all behind Dominic Calvert-Lewin it should be an interesting defensive lineup for Frank Lampard's team. Let's see if they can get enough men forward to support Dominic Calvert Lewin. Fulham line up in a 5 2 1 2 formation. Leno, Liveramento, Denier, Adorabio, Diop, and Robinson come into the back five. Palinia and Sanson line up in midfield. Perea sits behind the strike partnership of Anthony Martial and Alexandra Mitrovic. So, two major changes Robinson and Liveramento at full backs, but Sanson also putting in some good performances sees him get the nod over Sander Burge for this one. So, it's going to be Dominic Calvert Lewin to get us underway here. And uh, Everton are hoping they can impress their home fans and make this difference as uh, the ball is chipped forward up towards Ismaili Saar, who was a big money signing in the summer from Watford for Everton. As uh, they come forward now, here is Ismaili Saar on it. Puts it through towards Dominic Calvert-Lewin, but Tossin reads it well, and Martial can pick up that loose ball. Surely that's a nudge in the back ref, and it is. And it will be a free kick here to Fulham, as no one wants to go and get the ball. So we'll just... Let Tossin take that from the back. I say Tossin. Adorabio is there. So Liveramento. Paulinia looking for a bit of a switch in towards Sanson, who flicks it on but can't quite get the pass right. And uh, Ismaili Saar will look to bring this one away. Calvert-Lewin with a bit of space. I don't really want to bring Denier out from the back. So Gusto comes forward. Good block from Robinson. The American getting back and putting in a good defensive shift. And Gusto will let it go out for a corner kick to Everton. Now, they're going to be going for the height of Calvert-Lewin, you would imagine, as uh, Robinson is back there. Mitrovic has surely pushed off the ball. It's a bit of a scramble going on in here at the moment, and oh, Leno touches it over the bar from Dwight McNeil's shot. Lampard wants to see more of that from his team, more of that fight. It was all a little bit hectic in there, and a good save from Leno at the end of it, as, uh, again, you'll imagine Ismaili Saar is going to try and ping this one in to find Calvert-Lewin. It's a good clearance, and... The first time shot from McNeil on the left foot goes over the bar. Denea takes the, chic, uh, the goal kick short from uh, Leno. Liveramento just looks to try and move this around. Diop up it goes towards Robinson. Robinson back in field to find Palina. Palina up towards Denaya. Denaya tries to flick it out the line, but it wasn't a very good pass from the centre-back. And now he's going to put his team in a bit of trouble here because Dominic Calvert-Lewin has made a run into the channel. Knock that back towards McNeil with a powerful shot off the underside of the bar. And Leno keeps it out, but Saar on the third attempt puts it in. And, uh, well, Everton have got lucky a bit there. Dwight McNeil with a powerful effort off the underside of the bar. Saar with a header. Leno with a great save. And Saar reacts quickest. Fires it home. And the home team go 1-0 up. And that's his third goal in five matches so far as uh, Martial gets the game back underway. And uh, what can Fulham do here is... Robinson, you're going to need a pretty quick response from Fulham, you imagine, as Mitrovic holds on to the ball, puts it through. Martial trying to hold it up, turns it around the corner. Mitrovic, oh, he just wouldn't get the shot off, and Pickford comes out and collects. It was just the wrong side of Alexandra Mitrovic. But again, Fulham showing intent once they go one goal behind as Conor Cody puts in a good tackle on Alexandra Mitrovic there. This is the first time we've really come up against another three at the back formation as Calvert-Lewin using his strength well to hold off the opposition players. Ball through, but Tosin Adrobayo reads it well. Not a good pass out from the centre-back, though. 
as uh, Ismaili Saar in again. Calvert-Lewin under pressure that turns and gets away well. Robinson's there to be able to get a hooked volley away. Palinia up it goes towards Martial who can see the run of Mitrovic and it's sort of a little bit of a change of change of plan there. Mitrovic tries to put it down the line but Mason Holgate again just getting a little touch on the ball as uh, it's brought out from the back. Calvert-Lewin tries to release Saar and this uh, now the defensive shape of Everton makes a little bit more sense here because the ball in and once they've got the lead it's on the onus of Fulham to come out and attack and that is not a good ball out. Calvert-Lewin Saar with a shot Leno touches it over. Corner ball then Saar who had that vicious left footed shot wins the corner from Leno save dinked in uh, to the near post and Leno comes and claims half time one down one down one nil down uh, Fulham find themselves. Everton fans will be delighted with that one. So no changes at half time. We're going to try and uh, get these guys back into this game early on in this second half and see what we can do. So Diop with a long crossfield pass out towards Livramento. Up it goes towards Paulinha. Martial tries to find Mitrovic but not a good pass. And uh, Everton regain possession with that one. Good challenge there as Sanson puts it up towards Palinio finds himself in an advanced position. Livramento dinks it in. Palinio trying to knock it down. Martial, oh, I was hoping he would chest and volley it. And he didn't. He had a lame header on goal. But yeah, Fulham starting starting better. Palinio, come on, be stronger. I do think we need maybe a strong midfielder in there. Sanson, Palinio. I mean, Burge could be that man as Mitrovic is played in. Oh, Connor Cody just got a foot in. It was a lovely little through ball from um, Anthony Martial. Yeah, Fulham are definitely starting this second half better than what they ended the first. As uh, Gay puts the ball through to Saar. Ishmael Saar showing good pace. Tries to drink that one across. Adrebayo's there to put in a good defensive header. Andreas Pereira. Martial. Oh, it's just just a bit of a lack of pace on the pass. As uh, Connor Cody plays that one out. Here is Saar again. Holgate. Just surveying his options. Seeing what he can do. Decorde. Comes forward with it. Vinagre up the line to McNeil. It's uh, played in towards Calvert-Lewin. That's an easy save from that angle for Leno. And uh, we're going to look to see if we can get a breakaway on here straight away. Martial, that is such a bad pass, Anthony Martial. Lots of pressure, though, as Vinagre is forced backwards at pace towards his own goal. He was having a little sprint there back towards his own goal. I'm sure Pickford may have been getting a little bit worried with that one. McNeil comes down the line. Tries to put that one in. Paulinho with a good reach. To make the interception. Toss in Adrabayo. Out towards Liveramento. Who is just about going to keep that one in. He finds Paulinha. Flicked on from Sanson. Lovely bit of control and drew the defender in. Diop comes forwards with it. Out towards Robinson the American. Good little one-two. Can Robinson get on this pace here? No he can't. Gusto good defending to make that difference. And uh, Keane just holding on to it at the back and it looks like Everton are in a very comfortable position here Fulham really do need to start picking up some points and uh, they are making hard work of it at the moment ball forward good header from Adrobayo Mitrovic around the corner to Martial Martial infield towards Andreas Pereira Robinson carries on Robinson dinks it in Mitrovic on the volley it's blocked and Pickford just gain catches it at the second attempt Oh, and Everton have got a bit lucky there. They win that ball again in midfield. Martial puts it through to Andreas Perea. Just a little bit heavy on the touch to try and keep the ball. And that is going to be a win for Everton. It's 1-0. Fulham couldn't find the breakthrough. Ah, oh, gutting there. Gutting. It just didn't click. Everton defended well. We need to start quicker. I need to be better defensively off the bat. So into the press conference then. A uh, difficult game today between two pretty even teams. Um, one mistake confident. We lacked a little bit of self-belief, I think, in that one. Another trip to Merseyside. Another loss. Um, two defeats in a row. Um, we've got to learn. We've got to learn from these setbacks. That's what we've got to do. And Everton got the winner in the first half. Decent performance, but disappointing result. So the second game of the episode is going to be a crucial game at the bottom of the table where we're taking on Nottingham Forest in this one. Uh, it looks like they're going to be lining up with three at the back as well. We're going to stay with this shape and this team. I feel like we just need to let this settle in, get used to the formation, 
and uh, and make it work. So no changes for this one. Everyone's well rested. We've had a week off. Let's get into it. Here we are then back at Craven Cottage. Fulham hosting Nottingham Forest, the two newly promoted teams going head to head in the Premier League for this one. And uh, it's the same shape named by Marco Silva. A couple of changes of personnel. Both fullbacks are back in and Babu and Kurzawa get their starting spots back at right back and left back respectively. But uh, overall, it should be an interesting game. Fulham will be hoping they can take advantage of Nottingham Forest's weak position in the league. It was the only win they've got so far was against Crystal Palace, who were bottom of the table when they played. But Fulham know they can create chances. They know they can score goals. It's just they have to do it more consistently and definitely not start slowly in this game. They're hoping the Craven Cottage faithful will power them on to, especially with the three centre-backs, hopefully maintaining a bit more of a shape. And Fulham are lining up with Leno in goal. It's going to be Mbabu, Denaya, Diop, Adrobayo and Kazawa at the back. Will Haulinia and Burge regain their places in central midfield. Perea sits behind Martial and Alexandra Mitrovic up front. On the bench, Samson drops back down. Liveramento and Anthony Robinson there as well. Yusuf Makoku still looking for his first Premier League goal for the club. Nottingham Forest have Dean Henderson in goal, Serge Aurier, McKenna, Nekate, Will Bolly, and Omar Richards at the back. Lewis O'Brien and Frulier in midfield. Lingard sits behind a strike partnership of Joseph Martinez and Raul Ruidas. On the bench is Morgan Gibbs-White, Divock Origi, signed from Liverpool, and Renan Lodi, the new signing from Atletico Madrid. Let's hope for a good game. Hopefully everyone's entertained and hopefully there's plenty of goals for Fulham. So Anthony Martial gets this game underway and it's... Uh, Mitrovic looking to make a difference then. So, Kurzawa in towards Sandra Burge. Sandra Burge looks to play that crossfield pass out towards Mbabu that we know Mbabu has the pace and can cause Nottingham Forest some difficulties. Mbabu puts an early ball in, looking for Mitrovic, beaten in the air. And Nottingham Forest will look to break here with Rudiaz. Lingard takes over. Jesse Lingard signed from Man United on a free transfer with this one. Martinez just turns and holds up the ball. It's another good pass out to the left-hand side to find Omar Richards, but Denaya is there, but his clearance is poor. Lingard with a shot from range, easy for Leno that time, and uh, Fulham not hanging around, hoping to get this ball moving and get the game moving in their favour as uh, Mitrovic plays it out towards Paulinia, who tried to find Mbabu in an advanced position, but could not make that work. He wins it back, though, Denaya. Andreas Perea flicks the ball out to Kurzawa. Heavy touch allowed... The defender to get a, chance, a tackle in there from Serge Aurier. And Serge Aurier comes forward with it now. Under a bit of pressure. Here is Martinez. And Diop reads that one really well. Great tackle from uh, from Diop there. As a ball round the corner. Again, doesn't quite work. Nottingham Forest being first at every ball as Diop puts in a, another great challenge there. But I think it was offside for Martinez. And it was. 20 minutes in. 20 minutes in and not... Too much action to speak of here. Leno forced into a save from a speculative Lingard effort. I think the formations are sort of cancelling each other out. As Mbabu switches the play over to Kazawa. Kazawa waits, waits for some support. Puts it through. Andreas Perea tried to give it back to Burge. McKenna into Freuler. Freuler into Lingard. Lingard up to Rudiaz, who's dropping back from his striking position to try and link the play a little bit more as it goes out towards Serge Aurier. Good defending there from Kurzawa. Not once, but twice from Kurzawa. The man on loan from PSG as Mitrovic holds up the play nice. Burge, heavy touch from Sander Burge. Uh, good, well read from Tosin. Andreas Preya feeds it out towards Kevin Mbabu, who's going to get lucky there with that bounce. Kevin Mbabu tries to dink it in towards Mitrovic with a header down. It's not the best header. And uh, Hedderson puts in. Uh, a good a good catch. Kept hold of the ball really well. And I do apologise for the slight kick clash here. I'm not too sure why Nottingham Forest aren't in red. I should have uh, should have looked at that before kick-off. But it is what it is. Denier does volley that one away. Again, not a good clearance from the centre-back. Lingard looking to turn. Ball in. Shot over the bar from O'Brien. So goal kick taken short into Denier. Up towards Kevin Mbabu. Kevin Mbabu fires it across the pitch with a low hard pass towards Kazawa. Here's Sandra Burge. Mitrovic can't get there first. And that's quite a common theme here with uh, with Fulham. Is that they just get beaten to that low pass into feet. It's Kazawa now has some defending to do against Serge Aurier. But at half time it's 0-0. Nil -nil. 
both teams lacking a cutting edge here and uh, yeah both teams struggling so into the second half then no personnel change we have asked our fullbacks to be much more attacking in this half hopefully we can get something out of them as Sander Burge puts in a great interception there as uh, Mitrovic lays it off to Martial Martial's pass is blocked can Andreas Perea get on that loose ball no he can't Henderson takes a, a confident touch there Will Bolly up it goes as Rudiaz has an early touch in this second half. Jesse Lingard pokes it through towards Rudiaz again. Rudiaz just uh, patiently waiting for some support from his Nottingham Forest teammates. Is he going to try and do this all on his own? He's gone on a wonderful run and Leno with a big strong left hand touches it past the post. So an early substitution for Fulham. Palinia coming off. We're going to bring on Sanson who uh, has been performing pretty well recently. Just hopefully a little bit more creativity in that centre midfield spot as uh, we're trying to head that one away. Who has the pace to get there first? Lingard with a nice touch to uh, to keep the ball alive. Diop with a good interception. Pereira up towards Alexandra Mitrovic. Pereira on it again. He's got Kevin Mbabu outside him on that right-hand side. Mbabu up towards Martial who can hold this one up. Puts the ball through. Mitrovic. Alexandra Mitrovic misses the chance. He's been finishing them all season. Great work there. Great save from Dean Henderson as well in goal. As he made himself big. Mitrovic went for that near post. Good save from Henderson. Corner ball then to be taken by Andreas Perea. Who can he find here? It's gone up towards Mitrovic with a header. Not the best connection. And Dean Henderson can easily pluck that one out of the sky. And he's rolled the ball out towards Omar Richards. Omar Richards comes forward. He's not got too much support. And he runs the ball straight out of play near the halfway line. Kevin Mbabu plays a quick one-two from the throw. Denier going for that long cross. Field, it's a lovely pass from Denier to release Kurzawa as Burge gets around the tackle. Andreas Pereira. Sanson on the edge. Has a shot. It's going to fall here to Mbabu, is it? It is going to fall to Mbabu. Oh, lovely skill from Kevin Mbabu to get past his man. Dinks it in. Looking for Mitrovic with the header. It's going to fall to Martial on the volley. Mitrovic trying to keep it alive. Sander Burge flicks it out sensibly to Kurzawa. Dinks the ball back in towards Sanson with the header. Oh, it might have been Mitrovic, but a good save from Henderson. It's all Fulham at the moment. Nottingham Forest don't really have an answer as uh, Andreas Preyer has read that rollout, but oh, Henderson just put enough pace on it there. Lingard up towards Martinez. Flicked on once more to Fulia. Martinez looking for the run of Fulia. No one's tracked it. The marking's dreadful, and he's hit the post. Lingard on the rebound, and, uh, well, it's been kept alive, and Fulham... Poor, hang on there, just ever so slightly. Andreas Perea over to Martial. Flicks it on towards Kazawa, who's slowly running out of legs in this game. Andreas Perea, Martial. Ah, just robbed by Frulia, who hit the post earlier on. No one tracking his run from midfield as Martinez is just bundled off the ball by Sandra Burge. That's the physicality we needed. Martial flicks it through. Alexandra Mitrovic, left footed. Henderson with a good save. So double substitution for Fulham, but first off, Nottingham Forest as Martinez is going to replace by the speedy Emmanuel Dennis. And uh, this could be very interesting here because it looks like Yusuf Makoko is going to come on for captain Alexandra Mitrovic. Missed a couple of chances and then both fullbacks being changed as well as we've seen them get up and down the pitch quite heavily here. So Andreas Perea is going to take this one. In it goes. It's a bit too close to Henderson again. He comes out and claims that easily. I still haven't figured out really what to do with corners so let me know down below if there's any uh hints and tips you can give me but at the moment it's still nil nil nottingham forest have come the closest hitting the post early on with frulia that is not where i wanted that pass to go with sanson and that is nil nil end of the game oh wasted some opportunities with mitrovic oh gutting absolutely sick we should have won that we should have won that game i feel like that's a game we definitely should have won dean enderson with some good saves so where are we going to improve and how are we going to do it? We're going to stick together. I, I promise you that. I mean, we are we are a newly promoted team. We should be battling relegation, really. Much between the teams today, um, we saw two very committed teams and a nil-nil draw. Very lucky when Frula hit the post. It was always going to be a difficult game. Um, we were really determined. I think defensively, we did look slightly better. Other than that, that one chance where Frula got through and hit the post. But yeah, it's just... Oh, it's just in one, yeah. Henderson denies Fulham. There's the headline. That was what it clearly was. Dean Henderson having a great game. Next up is Newcastle in the Carabao Cup. I'm not too sure what uh, it's the round of 16. So, again, I'll play this one off camera. And then if we get through, 
uh, will play the semi-finals in the next uh, we will play the semi-finals onwards of the Carabao Cup I'm not fussed about that FA Cup will be back for all of it though that should be quite interesting but yeah the squad I feel like the squad is good I feel like the squad's good I just need to again keep getting used to it and not try and pull defenders out of position be a bit more patient uh, when we've got the ball and utilize Mitrovic's height maybe a little bit more I feel like we're not getting enough headers uh, into him to make them work so yeah maybe flick-ons to Martial and stuff like that but uh, Le Leeds United have been in touch they're apparently unhappy with how little playing time Daniel James has had while he's on loan they're concerned this is hampering the player's development they've suggested they will look at recalling Daniel James for his loan if the situation isn't resolved well yeah that's fine with this that's fine. That's not bothering me at all. They can all go back if you want. Uh, thanks for all the first team chance I've been getting, boss. I'll keep doing whatever I need to. I've been proud of you. I think you've been playing well. It's been going really well for us recently. Interesting. You know how happy I am playing for you and playing for this club. So this might be a good time for us to talk about renewing my contract. Um, let me think about it. Yeah, he's lost a little bit of morale there, but I think Azurabayo will be getting a new contract. But we'll be back for the next episode then, which will be after... Uh, the Carabao Cup game against Newcastle, which is Man City away. Absolutely amazing. So hopefully we can get a pick up a result against Newcastle and uh, and be in a little bit of good form for that, but not much rest in between those ones. But yes, Man City away and then Leeds at home will be the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, give me a like, subscribe if you enjoy it. Leave comments down below about some hints and tips and uh, excellent stuff. Thanks for watching.